Okay, uh, welcome back guys. So we're going to continue on with this by creating some hair on top of our character. So let's let's get to it. So for now I would like to I would like to hide all of this. Okay, and I'll make the scalp visible. This is, this is everything that has to do with the scalp. So I'm going to be starting with the head air scalp for this. Starting the air scalp for this. I would like to just transfer some of kind of transfer some of what we the reference we actually need. Reference I actually need. See, um, and then let's see. Just transferring most of the actual references for the air. We need and grab this also. Um, Grab this also. Grab this also. Okay, so copy. Come in here and I'll just paste this in here. Let me drop this around here. Do I need? Mm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if I need this though. Uh, but what the heck? Let's just. Yeah, I can't drag and drop. I'll just copy and paste this here. I'll select all of this. And I'm going to arrange optimal. Alright. And I'll just I will just drop this under. Right, so I have all the reference I need for my for the hair for the hair in terms of color, contrast, shape of the hair, hair and so forth. So this would yeah, this will work just fine. So, just taking another look at this again. The only thing there is that you have to be precise as to which particular one you want to use. But I'm going to make it, like I said in the previous tutorial, I'm going to make it two of this, this air shape, this air shape, and then also this air shape too yeah this is like I believe this is what i'm going to be doing for this okay so let's get to it but the first one i'm going to be doing is is um this air piece so this is AI, so we're going to look for something a bit realistic that we can actually use. Well, this seems fair enough though. But I need to take out other references we can. Yeah, this is somewhat, this is something somewhat similar to the S style. There's something somewhat similar to the S style that we can use. Except for the fact that the other, the S at the back. For this size, it's kind of short though, but, but this is, but this is shorter, as you can see, it's quite it's shorter. Okay, so let's, 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 let's get to it, let's get to it. So since we already, since we have already saved, let me hide this for now. 
maybe not yet let me hide this instead i need this to kind of give me an idea of where of roughly where i should place the hair so this is gonna give me a close approximation to where i should place the hair that's why that's where i kind of marked out more than what i need so if i should let me see if i can draw something out here can i draw something out okay i think the air should be starting roughly around this region roughly around this this region so let's do that so i will just leave this place the way it is then i would select the head scalp okay select the head scalp let's go to our x gen workspace for this so x gen y so change the layout to this okay um let's go to our xgen tab around here this tool converts primitives to polygons so i'll just middle middle mouse click and drag this all the way to the end okay that's fine and i'll go back to the xgen tab in here so um think um let me put this here i have screenshots for this around there just to give you guys an idea of what i'm about to do in here so you guys can get a good understanding of what i'm doing so make sure you select the head uh, scalp then click on create description okay so this this description this description can be named as the or better still just like the sub folder of a collection so the collection will be like the group folder let me give you a typical example let's say for example now i'm doing for, i'm creating something for the high high scalp my collection name for the high scalp would be we should should be high scalp then my description will now be for the individual parts of the air creation process for example the we have the eyelashes so we have one description for the eyelashes then we have another description for the for the sorry we have one description for the eyelashes then we have another description for the eyebrow for the hairs on the eyebrow so that does so that, that, that that just gives you gives you an idea of what collections are and what the description is so this description would be though to have more control to have more control over the hair it's better to kind of create separate it's better to create separate description for this so you have specific and individual control over the hairstyle so for this i'm going to be naming this to back this description will be back hair no let me underscore back hair back uh, okay back this should work back side back side underscore no 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 not just let me name this with side this is with an s with an s back side head 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 hair underscore description or d d s c rather so the idea is to make it very dynamic convention very specific so you know precisely what you are working on or what that particular description is 
So, so this collection will just this collect collect collection will, should just be head underscore hair underscore C O L. It should be just fine. C O will just be a short form for collection. So we need these splines on use these splines used for long air and vines, so that's fine. So I'm going to believe in this at this randomly across surface should be fine also because I want to not place them I want them to be like randomized across surface and not just seeing rows and colon not just be too too machine like I don't want any rows and colons I want the to be generated randomly across the surface because ideally airs are generated randomly across the surface well, not generated though grows randomly across the, across, the, across the surface of your skin so placing and shaping guys so yes i want to have the advantage of placing a directional guide as to where i want my hair to kind of grow and the direction i want it to grow towards towards so and i want to also have more control over shaping the style of each part last strand of hair too because in a more in a more uniform like manner so it should be fine then I will just click on create. All right. Cool. So now I've just created now. So so far you notice that you can't see any hairs growing up on top of this yet. Why? Because we have not placed guide on top of it to kind of tell the hair grow in this particular direction. Okay. So um. Wait a minute. Did I? Oh, no, let me cross, cross check the UVs for this UV editing. Yeah. Yes. We did, we did the UVs for the for the head hair scalp. So let's select this. Mm. Can you let me just connect this? Let's just get this resolved before anything else. Stitch together. Select unfold. Orient. Layout. So it's important we get this occupying most as much of the UV space as possible so as to have more resolution when we start painting necessary maps needed for X Gen hair generation. Alright, that's fine. So we may have forgotten this also. So let's just get this in place. Uh, for the most part, I'll just leave this with is I'll just select all of this unfold. Okay, then layout of layout for this. Maybe we'll try to con con let's see. Uh, this should be just fine. But let me just try and connect this neckline. This seam on this neckline. Stitch together. Where is this supposed to be? Oh, probably it was even the inner part of the mouse. We don't really actually need that, so I'm just going to delete that. Don't need that. Select this again. So I'm just trying to check off every everything we're supposed to do, so we don't have issues in here when working with XGN, because XGN can be kind of problematic. Hope I'm not, hope I'm not jinx, jinxing it though. <coughs> I just hope I'm not jinx, jinxing it. So 
but that's that's just what it is so that's just what it is so layout okay i think we are all set we're all set and good to go yes so back back to this and let's go back to xgen select this why i lost my xgen tab Blocks my agent chat tab. Great. Yeah, I think I've jinxed it. Not even done talking and then. Already having issues on top. Already having issues on top of this with Exgen. Fantastic. Come on, come on. Come on now. Well, if this happens to you, the best you can do right now is to, which is kind of annoying, is to close the software and then start all over again. Not, not really start all over again, though, but just do a quick save. Do a quick save. Uh, let me try something. Let me, let's, let's try something. Let's see if this actually brings out the hair. So if I come in here, where is it? Where is it? Click on this plus sign. I'll tap around here. Let's see if that brings out our XGen menu. Still not bringing out our XGen menu. It sucks. Welcome to, welcome to the world of XGen. Great. So I'll just save this and I'll close this file. Always make sure you save, guys. Make sure you save. Very important. Save. Save this again. Since we already created a, a project for this, we should be fine. So I'll just close and I'll come back when I reopen this again. Okay, since we're still here. Um, so let's open the file up. Shouldn't take long to open up. Yeah, welcome back, guys. So after restarting this same file, we have Exgen tab in here to work with. Yeah, not surprising at all. All right, let's let's carry on. <clears throat> so you can see now we placed a guide here already. Using this create guide features in here. With add or move guide, so you also have something similar around your small small settings you have up here. You have around here too. But let's just drag this guy, dog this at the end. Okay. So now, that, so now that we have created this in here, if we should click on this. Update Exgen Preview. I've increased the intensity of this. It's supposed to be having a generator on top of this. Great. Great. That is just great. Issues already. Issues already. Supposed to have a generator on top of this. Why are we having issues on this again? And sometimes I just hate working with XGen, but what can I say? XGen air generation is quite good, so let's create let's create this again. Okay, seems like we needed two SGN guides to start generating airs from. 
you can see so you just basically you need to just to get heads and generate him from those two guys so all right at least now we know we have something in here so so i don't want to i'm just going to turn this off for now clear xgen preview i don't want to see any hairs generated in here for now so what i would like to do is to generate airs out of it but before i do that i'd like to give you a brief just a brief illustration kind of of the directionality of air is being generated on on the head so if you notice this you cannot kind of see or give, gives you an idea how airs are being generated from the crown of the head so the crown is somewhere around there let me look for a better example that will kind of better illustrate as you can see you can see on this aspect the crown is on the closer to the left hand side but on this aspect it's closer to the right hand side so Depending on where you want your crown to be, you can always decide whether you want it to be on the left or on the right, close to the center of the head. But for this illustration, for this my character, I think I'm going to be using this one like that, kind of a bit on the towards the left hand side, kind of. So if I should, let me zoom this out a bit more. Get this like this. Can I even use this draw? Okay. so we kind of see the direction of the hair we kind of see the direction of the hair you can see how the direction of the hair is it's kind of flowing flowing around this then we have something kind of a bit straighter like so so it gives you an idea of the directionality of the the flow of the directionality of the hair around around this so let me look for another example here also we have another directional flow around this okay so I'm sure you can get the idea already so what kind of use this as our landmark to kind of get the flow of the directionality of the air same also with the beard we won't get to the beard we won't get to the beard so you can see a better illustration of the directionality of the air. So keeping this in mind, now this particular one, the crown is around close to the left hand side also of the head. All right. So with that example in mind, we will begin to kind of block out, block out air guides for this, following the same directionality to it. Okay. um all right so now let me first start by trying to figure out where i want that strand let me let me start by deleting this first so i hit key on the keyboard and i'll delete these strands all right these guys guys rather let me use the correct term for it so these those guys um let me just try to figure out the um, should be somewhere around here. So let's click on add guide. So click on add guide around here. So I'm kind of use this as the center points of the crown where the ears have been generated from, kind of. Then I'll use my scale to I'll scale this out. Scale this out. Okay, so we just give it up now. We can see around the air, our modified CV counts is at five. It just basically means that this strand has five points, has five segmental points around it that kind of helps us deform the shape a bit better. So if I should come in here, right click on hold, control, um, rather guide control points. So select this oh, rather, sorry this is not it rather this is not it sorry mistaken that is not it so this particular one is just for x gen itself 
for the for each particular strand of air actually for each particular strand of air not specifically for this guide i don't know if that makes sense but if i should come in here click on rebuild but it's similar though you can see five points here also but i think this is not let me see if we can we have one let me get and see this though we have one two okay one two three i think there should be one inside inside of the scalp actually okay so in in general it's like five we have five in total we have five in total for the entire thing if i want to increase this i can increase this if i just select select come then this come here where is this move guide i'll select this add guide again something is wrong yeah okay yes object mode sorry object mode select this guide can come here and rebuild this i can make this to something around eight click ok so if i should right click on all to control <clears throat> to guide control points i believe yes guide control points you can see now we have more points around this but it is by no means affecting the generated airs out of because generated airs cv count should be is this particular one around here this one this this one we just adjusted this for the guides only for the guide only right so <clears throat> but i don't want this much though i think five you always want to start with something low so we don't start with something low so i want to start with five let me select this rebuild should be on five i think five is better yes five is better for now if there's any specific need to increase this later on we will increase this but for now this is fine okay so um let's first get the direction you can see the direction you can see the direction of this now i think we just created this particular piece here and under the center part here so the direction should be facing down here so we can easily we can easily use our move or rather, okay sculpt guide rather sculpt guides sculpt guide brush can you Can I use the B key and increase from my can I use the B key if the, the B key um if the B key left mouse click and drag out to increase the brush size okay then I can easily I can easily manipulate this I can just come in here from the tip and push this towards the so what is that so what's the actual direction i need this to be put so okay but keep in mind that you don't want to have something entirely straight you still want to have some measure of some measure of curve to it some measure of s call it s curve to it something like this so we don't have something too straight. Something we need something. We need this to look slightly organic, by adding some curve to it. So now I just need to figure out the the height of this hair. Figure out the height of the hair. So to do that, I'm going to let me look for my reference for this. How high do I want that to be? So for now, we're looking at something a bit short, something around this height or this length this length rather so i'm just going to take a look at this from different angles and try to figure out you can always use the other gizmo to like rotate to kind of get some height to it if you want to 
I think for now, let's get it slightly lower, slightly lower like so. Okay. So we've gotten that direction now. So let's create a new one, a new guide. So for now, you want to kind of keep, I would say, large spaces in between them. I kind of create this. I won't say, I won't entirely say in rows and columns, though, but let me just say rows and columns, but in a more randomized fashion. So I know certainly that this should, the direction of this should be facing down here, like so. So let's go to our sculpt brush, scale this out some more, a bit more. I hit D on the keyboard to go back to, go back to the last two. Which is the scope two? Then I'm going to push this down. So you want to kind of make sure that you're kind of keeping in mind the directionality to it. Then let's pinch, let's pinch a curve to it like so. All right. Feel like I should extend this out some more. Okay. Right, so let's carry this on. I'm, so this is just the I would say to just part of the process, kind of, kind of the block out stage for the uh, guide. So try to create a create another one here. Scale this out some more. Use the scope brush. Let me go back to the previous to this and then try to understand, kind of get <clears throat> know where I'm pushing this towards. Scale this out some more. So the idea is to get a bit more randomized scale to them or length to them rather. No, I think that's too much. They were still going to use cuts that still kind of randomize the length for them, but just to give it some more intricate or detailed length shape in there. It's always good to kind of, with your guide, kind of create that variation in length for the air guides. Okay, so carrying on. Mm, I think I need to block out block this out even more with some larger larger space around them. I'm still going to fill us in between them, but for now we're just blocking now. So once get something low. Something low and quite fast for blocking the major guidelines for this for the major directionality for it. Please receive, guys. Very important. Receive. So this this should be going pushing towards this direction, like so. So it's almost like sculpting. You want to kind of check all views also to make sure to make sure you're pushing this towards the right direction. Okay. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that you have to be you have to be extremely patient with the process. Let me block block this. Here. Maybe I'll, maybe maybe I should just do something like this instead, like block out some major points of this. Because they're kind of blocking out this shape now, this shape around here. Kind of blocking out, let me use this as an example. Kind of blocking out this shape around here now. But now the shape. Well, let's get this precisely as, <clears throat> as we can in here, okay? Something like this. 
carry on and block this out kind of creating larger spaces around it for now we're going to them individually and bend them but let me just block block this out as precisely as i need to you need to worry about the other half we would be able to quickly and easily mirror this to the other side so just no worries all right so i think i would do something create another another one around here try to avoid the center part though try to avoid that okay yeah i think that's fine this is more this is more or less like a faster or quicker way to kind of block this out then one two three um okay we're just creating large shapes around here i think this should be fine for now be fine for now so i'll do a quick save okay so now we can go to the scope too and then let's begin to work on them individually so move select this guide like this guide probably scale this some more this is a scope guide and this should be facing almost facing front like so okay don't forget to add that s shape to them <coughs> select this direction of this should be let's get this facing down first and facing this direction like so come to the side scale this out some more get this out <clears throat> okay Select this. This should be down like so. I'm going to leave this one a bit shorter. This one a bit shorter. Leave that as it is. Select this. This should be facing this direction like so. Making sure to have a little pinch of curve to it. Same with this. Little pinch of. Okay. Select this. The good, part, the good part about this is this. The object is this way is that once you begin to add egg guys, more egg guys in between them. Egg guys, more egg guys in between them. It's kind of the shape will kind of interpolate in between the closest egg guide to the newly created egg guide. Yeah, uh, that will make that will make sense. That will make sense in a bit. But for now, let's just let's just carry on with this. I think this one should be slightly short out. Mm, not completely short though. Let's get this like this. Get some pinch to it. Select this, scale this down some more. Get this down, it should be somewhat closer to the skin. Select this, let's get this somewhat closer to the skin, like so. All right, so select this. Uh, that one should be short. Short is fine. It being short is fine. 
let's get the direction for it push the tip i'm just grabbing the dark red tip that so this red region is more or less like a soft brush or rather like soft selection rather so you want to be careful why you kind of get that soft selection around it so something this direction should be fine push this down some more get a pinch of curve to it okay do a quick save select this the directionality for this is somewhat pushing towards the direction like so like so get this out scale this out some more like so let's see yes pinch this down on the tip Pretty much like this should be fine. Okay, we're getting good blockouts out of this. This is precisely what we want. This is more or less like a fast day of walking. This one should flow down. It should flow down. Something somewhat like that. <clears throat> Select this, I'll scale this out some more. Want to pinch this down? Yes, yeah, kind of. Direction for this is kind of. Push. I think I put that in way too much. It's kind of pushing towards a direction like this, somewhat with somewhat of a direction like so. But need to pull it out. Let's get this out a bit more. Okay, select this. You can see how it's moving towards this direction, like so. Let me see if I can show you guys. You can see how this here is moving towards a direction like this. So I'm basically trying to recreate, recreate that thing here. Scale that a bit more. It's very important, you have to kind of go through different views just to make sure this is working correctly. Mm -hmm. Then this one would um let's look for another reference for the back of the head that should help. Though I know for certain the direction of it though, so mm. okay, this should help. This should help. Mm. So just get this somewhat like so. Get a good angle on it. This one should be slightly closer to the skin. I probably maybe even sh slightly shorter. Okay. Yeah. Another thing we can do is this. Let me show you guys another thing we can do. We can actually copy, select this, right click on old. We can actually copy, copy guide shape, select a new guide then paste guide shape in there as you can see so this will kind of help us move a bit faster on this you can also paste this also in here paste guide shape so that also helps us move significantly faster mm -hmm. so select this Okay, this is down. 
you can see pushing towards the direction like this okay even make it slightly longer slightly longer not forgetting to get a pinch of an S shape around the same with this okay let's get this also in place Start by scaling this out. May end up pushing, I might end up pushing, or rather, um, increasing the length a bit smaller around. But let's just let's just let's just carry on with this first. Let's see what we have. I'll select this I just copy this copy guide paste guide shape so we can move a bit faster with this select this scale this out some more but well, you don't want to copy and paste too much you still want to have some diversity to them in terms of shape Okay. All right. Let me scale this out some more. Okay. So now this is the form part. So now if we start, we go to the add guides. So if you are to I want click in here, you see this automatically kind of interplay between this guide and this guide and kind of gets a shape that looks similar to or rather kind of get an a shape averaged between this guide and then this guide. So which can help us work slightly faster in here. But keep in mind, don't do too much because the more you have on top of this, the more you need to have kind of go in there and then control them specifically. So I'm being extremely careful. I'm just filling up specific, specific gaps on top of this, so this should be fine. How many of these do we even have? I can't count them, but at least they are enough for me to know that okay, even if I'm gonna make specific adjustments to it, I can always I can always do that without having to work or manipulate too many guides in there. So that's something you wanna you need to keep in mind. Okay. So I would Let's select all of this first. But I will deselect this piece. Then I'll do a mirror. Uh, mirror. Mirror selected. All right. Okay. No, so while we're here, I will go into the add and let's begin to add some more if you interpolate between this is interpolating between them. So 
so I'm kind of moving in a fashion of goose and column, but at the same time, kind of randomizing the randomizing the placements. Yeah, this should be fine for now. Yeah, this one looks a bit off. Scale that out. <clears throat> All right, so now if we generate air out of this, let me do a quick save. We generate airs out of this, we should have, yes, obviously I have airs all over the place, but at least now we know that this some of most of these airs are following a specific directionality to it or directional flow to it based on how we blocked out the air guides. So if you notice now, you can see a flow, there's a flow to it. There's a specific directional flow to it, which is precisely what we want. Okay, so, um, but now this air length is just way too much. So I have a particular, I have a particular setting for the air for my air strands. Let me just bring out, bring that out. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> So yeah, it is. We have CV count. CV count twelve to twenty-four. Mm, let's do this. Why? Why do I have so many of these around here? Great. All right. CV counts 12 to 24. So let me just plug in. So this CV counts is for each individual X S strands. Each individual X strand. So let me put this to 20 instead. Put this to 20. What else? Width. Copy this width. With paste this in here, then we have the taper. Taper, paste this in here. This is the setting I use for most of my air, gen air generation. Copy this taper starts. Yeah, it's basically it's basically it. <clears throat> so you notice now when I generate when I I'm actually view, viewing this from this angle when I click on updates, the are only going on the regions that is visible to the camera. So let's go to preview, turn off only primitive in view. Then let's generate update this again. You can see I generating has in specific regions in the entire head but just just in specific region though so if you zoom in you can see the directionality of it pulling the air pulling the air guides precisely as it should okay so now if we should increase the density of this let's say we get this up to like 50 you can see more air being generated on top of this which is good. Everything seems to be working fine. The thing I'm not entirely sure yet is this. I think I'm going to adjust the the length of this uh, of the guy of the guys later on. Because the guy the length of the guys kind of control the length of the of each particular edge strand on top of this. Um, okay. Okay. Mm, okay. Let's see if we should turn on see object symmetry. Let's hide the air guys. If I should select this, select this. Nah, it's not gonna work. It's not selecting the other one on the other side. That sucks. 
That sucks. But I think so far, I think this is fine so far. So in the next lesson, I'm going to carry on and then begin to make begin to make individual corrections to this. Okay. So just one last thing I want to show you guys. That project we saved for this have no mail. If you open this up now, open next gen collection. You should be able to see that collection in there. Just to tell you that everything we're working on has been saved under this project. So you can always come back to it when probably when Maya crashes or you close your file, you can always come back and reload that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.